time has come once again for our favorite trail ride of the year, the New England Trail Ride Series Black Ride. Join us in MLO's 2021 Bronco with a group of seven capable trucks led by Ron Harrington of Ridgeback Guide Service. Literally, literally rode the edge of that rock up here, never went down in that hole. <laughs> side grip, baby, side grip. We're taking on the washed out and rocky terrain left behind by New England's recent flooding, but not without some battle scars to show when it's all said and done. As if the trails weren't enough of a challenge already, a quick check of tread depth at our air down spot had us a bit concerned for today's ride. It is tire 101 time. So we have been running these BFG KM3s now for the last 22 to 23,000 miles and they are just about spent. There are little wear bars down in here in between the bigger rutted sections of the tire. And we are airing down even more for this ride just because we're going to need the extra grip because of how low these are. This is probably going to be our last ride on these tires and they've served us really well. This might be a little bit of a challenge today just because of how low tread we have and how difficult the terrain's gonna be. It's, it's kind of funny that our tires have worn down to the point now where we're like, oh, we need a replacement as we're going on our toughest ride. So it should make it interesting and it should make it more fun. After a quick meeting, we're off into the backcountry with Ron at the lead in his Jeep JK, rocking two rear fender flares it won't have by the end of the ride. With our first trail behind us, we made a quick stop to check equipment and drop tire pressures even lower. This gave us some time to check out this beautiful 80 series Land Cruiser out with us today. It's right hand drive with a 24 valve diesel under the hood, plus a train canopy. This is truly a unicorn. We were stoked to see how it performed off road, but we were about to find out its fatal flaw. Long story short, the welds on the front of his tray uh, broke and the tray is just being held on by the rear welds right now. Um, so it's flopping around like crazy. Uh, so I got some ratchet straps in there, trying to secure everything down and hopefully it stays on the rest of the day. So. What do you want to zip that? Oh, this yeah, thing? Yeah, oh, this thing. Uh, as long as your suspension is not ripped off. Yeah, you're still moving. Who cares, right? You weren't doing anything harsh for, the, for that to snap, so. No. Nothing that this thing shouldn't take. It's right. gonna get harder today, so hopefully it's. The black ride <laughs> got interesting pretty quick. Yeah, literally first black trail. <laughs> yeah. I don't see it moving at all, but. No. I, he said this is only a second time out in this new truck. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely finding some weak points already. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But uh, we, ha we have our trust in him that he'll be all right. He knows what he's doing. So we also had an FJ get a little tied up back there on that section. Uh, a little bit of door dinging going on, but not much you can do when you're in a tight spot with two rocks on either side like that. Push it in a little bit. Just 
Joe maneuvered the Bronco through there beautifully and uh, actually went up high on the right side to kind of get around it just because this is the longest wheelbase truck on the on the ride today. The 80s probably pretty close to this. Yeah. But uh, traumatized by rocks next to me, so. Mm -hmm. Now back on the move, Ron had us en route to our first steep section of ledge. Slick conditions had a few drivers on edge, so we scoped it out before making the ascent. Your tire in here, drive up here like this, current right yeah, here. Right here. Too much today yet, at least. Uh, you my Uber? Uber for Sam? Uh, we're a little off tracks, but uh, it's gonna be a surcharge for picking me up out here. Good. I don't see any movement yet. Good, good. With the canopy on the 80 series holding up surprisingly well, we thought all our car troubles were behind us. And just like that, the FJ sank deep into a mud hole. trails but, absolutely uh, back through here in the last section it's been awfully muddy another fun fact is that ron has lost <laughs> how many fender flares today i think he's down to zero he's down to zero fender flares he started, he started the day with two but through the course of today he lost both rears yeah so uh his truck is illegal to drive in the state he lives in <laughs> as far as he knows right now well good thing everyone knows him in vermont yeah yeah
<laughs> oh, camera. <laughs> We're up to the camera. After some deep water crossings and sketchy rock gardens, we were beginning to make our way back to the pavement. Besides Ron's two rear fender flares, a snapped canopy mount, and some shared scratches, we had all braved the trails and made it out to our exit spot. Joe and I always say this is our favorite trail ride just because you never know what the trails will throw at you, and slick conditions made today even more of a challenge than we originally expected. A special thanks to all our clients who made this ride unforgettable. And be sure to check out the links below to join us out on our next trail ride. Thanks for watching.